Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Said Ali Abbas and today we are going to discuss the difference between uh, linear and non-linear differential equations. So this is our lecture number three here. Uh, in the last lecture we have discussed uh, the formation of differential equation and we have also discussed the different solution that a differential equation has. So in this lecture we are going to discuss the difference between linear and uh, non-linear differential equation. So the purpose of uh, this short course is, is to provide general and to the point information uh, required for understanding differential equations. We are not uh, going in so much details. So this course uh, is for uh, helpful for the persons who just started uh, understanding differential equations as it covers the basic and relevant information regarding differential equations. So uh, let's start our lesson. Uh, so what we are going to discuss the major highlights are uh, linear differential equations and uh, non-linear differential equations as I already told you. So we are going to differentiate between linear and non-linear differential equations and we are, uh, are going to uh, see some examples regarding uh, both linear and non-linear differential equations. So first we have a linear differential equations. In order to understand linear differential equations uh, in a more better way, we must have to follow the general form that a linear differential equation has. So the general linear ordinary differential equation of some order n is basically this. You can see on your screen. So this is basically the general form of a linear ordinary differential equation as its order is n. And uh, I have uh, uh, explained the concept of order and degree in lecture number one. So the highest derivative appear in the differential equation uh, indicates its order. So the highest derivative appear uh, appearing in this particular equation is n. So that is why it is of order n. And you can see that there are some uh, functions of x in terms of a's. Uh, written uh, as a coefficient of these derivatives and uh, there are some derivatives and on the right hand side there is some function of s. So this basically sums up the general uh, form of linear ordinary differential equation of some order n where uh, that particular a not x is not identically zero. So I'm going to label the parts that uh, this differential equation uh, has. So all these a's that are appearing in that particular differential equations are pure functions of x and these derivatives that are appearing uh, in this particular differential equation are called differential quotient. So all these are differential quotients. So I have labeled uh, that pure functions of x and differential quotients so that uh, uh, you will find easier in next slides when I am referring to pure function of x or uh, differential quotients or you may say when I am using these terms. So you will be, uh, you will feel better uh, as you already know that what are, uh, what is pure function of x here and what are I am referring to differential quotients here. So this is basically the general form of linear differential equation. Now we will discuss uh, the points that will uh, help us to identify the linear differential equations. So we are going to discuss some points and uh, we have to uh, understand and remember these points uh, whenever we are going to identify some differential equation as linear and uh, non-linear uh, differential equation. So very first point is uh, degree of a differential equation should be 1. So every differential equation has some degree and that degree uh, uh, of a differential equation should be 1 in case of linear differential equation. As the linear differential equations are all uh, with degree equal to 1 and you are well aware uh, from the concept of degree and order uh, as I told in lecture number 1. So the highest order derivative appearing in the differential equation determines its order and uh, the exponent of that particular order is basically called the degree of differential equation. So in case of linear differential equation the degree degree of uh, differential equation should be 1. Second point is uh, exponents of each differential quotient should be equal to 1. I have uh, explained uh, that ex differential quotient term in the last slide. So the exponents of each differential quotient that is appearing in some particular differential equation should be equal to 1 exponent of each dependent variable that is why we have used y as we are referring to a differential equation a linear differential equation in y so uh, that is why here y is written so in case uh, uh, in generally each dependent variable involved in particular differential equations in some differential equation should be equal to 1 for uh, uh, clarifying the criteria of linear differential equation so in linear differential equation the exponent of each dependent variable for our case that is y should be equal to 1 so how many times that particular dependent variable is appearing uh, in your differential equations all uh, of that uh, all the exponent of that particular dependent variable y should be equal to 1. 
no terms uh, containing uh, the product of dependent variable and its derivative for example is allowed so if uh, you have a differential equation that contains the product of dependent variable so uh, it should be clear that i have uh, uh, I am telling about the dependent variable so if you have a differential equation that contains the product of dependent variable or you may say uh, the product of dependent variable and its derivative both are not allowed so if you have a differential equation uh, in which a product of dependent variable is appearing it is uh, a not it is not a linear differential equation or if you have a differential equation if uh, that is that has a dependent variable and the derivative uh, as a product it is also a non linear differential equation so for the equation to be linear you must uh, have to satisfy that particular point that there should be no term containing the product of dependent variable and its derivative for example uh, I have written here like uh, dependent variable y is multiplying with that uh, differential quotient that is dy over dx so it is again a very important point no transcendental functions are allowed like no transcendental functions of y and or its derivatives occur transcendental functions are basically not uh, algebraic functions uh, transcendental functions uh, uh, include like trigonometric functions exponential functions and in some cases inverses are too uh, comes under category of transcendental functions so if you have a differential equation that is involving some transcendental function uh, referring to that particular uh, dependent variable using in that equation then it is not allowed so a linear differential equation uh, must not have a transcendental function in that uh, uh, of dependent variable or the derivatives of that transcendental function regarding that uh, uh, dependent variable is also not allowed so our equation should be linear only if there is no transcendental function of that dependent variable or its derivatives uh, occurring in that particular equation so transcendental uh, function uh, examples are like exponential functions you, uh, you can uh, see here e to power y uh, as sine y this e to power y basically is exponential function so these all are comes uh, these all uh, come under the category of transcendental functions so it is an important point that it is allowed to multiply independent variable with dependent variable and its derivative so it is completely fine if you have a differential equation and uh, there is a product involving uh, the independent variable and uh, with dependent variable or its derivative it is completely fine there is no harm uh, in it, it uh, the equation will be still linear if that appears so this is basically an important point to consider too so all these points basically refer to linear differential equation if you have uh, a differential equation you must have to uh, I check all of these points on that particular differential equation if all these points satisfy uh, that particular differential equation then the equation should be uh, called as linear if uh, any one of these points fail to satisfy the differential equation then the particular equation will be called a non-linear differential equation so we are going to discuss the examples uh, about the linear and non-linear uh, differential equations in our next slides so here are the examples of some linear differential equations so here it is uh, over uh, first example you can see uh, that the differential equation we have have order equal to 2 because uh, the highest order derivative appearing here is 2 that is second derivative so order is 2 and uh, the exponent of that particular term is 1 so the degree of entire differential equation is 1 and you can uh, uh, also see that that the dependent variable is y here and we have a derivative of dependent variable y with respect to x here and the exponent of that particular differential quotient is also 1 so it is also fine uh, till now according to the rules we have discussed earlier uh, for a equ uh, equation to be linear so the or degree of entire differential equation should be 1 and the derivatives of that dependent variable appearing in the differential equation should be 1 and the uh, variable that is y uh, appearing uh, anywhere in the differential equation its exponent also should be equal to 1 so you you can see that that y is appearing here it is a dependent variable and its exponent is also equal to 1 and there is no product of uh, dependent variable and its derivative involved in that particular equation although we have that e x uh, or sin x it may come in some case under the category of transcendental function but as it is involving the uh, independent variable not dependent variable so it will not harm the uh, important points that we have discussed regarding the linear differential equation so all conditions are fulfilled so this equation will be called now a linear differential equation so it is a linear differential equation now we will move towards the next example 
so in this particular example uh, it is very clear that the highest derivative involved is basically 3 that is the uh, third uh, uh, derivative here so the exponent of that highest order derivative is also 1 so it means the degree of entire differential equation is 1 and you can see that the independent variable and the derivatives involved here every uh, differential quotient of that dependent variable have exponent equal to 1 it means it is also uh, till now uh, no problem uh, with the rules and the dependent variable appearing here uh, is y its exponent is also equal to 1 and there is no uh, product of dependent variable and derivative involved so it means it uh, it uh, follows all the points that I have discussed in the previous slide so this equation will be also called a linear differential equation now we'll move towards the, our third example so in this particular differential equation the highest order derivative appearing here is this that is uh, first derivative so its order will be 1 and the exponent will be called its degree so its exponent is 1 so the uh, degree of entire differential equation is basically 1 and you can see that uh, uh, the other dependent variable appearing here that is same independent variable y appearing here exponent is also 1 so it is again uh, according to the over points and there is no product of dependent uh, and uh, dependent variable and derivative involved no transcendental function and derivative allow, uh, involved uh, with uh, respect to that uh, dependent variable so it is all clear uh, for the linear differential equation here x square is appearing that is a product of uh, independent variable but for the case uh, of for, of equation to be linear uh, the product that should be uh, avoided is the uh, product of dependent variable so as x square is basically the independent variable so there is no harm uh, in it so this equation is also a linear differential equation so these are the examples of uh, linear differential equation now we will move towards the example of non-linear differential equations so here we have the examples of non-linear differential equations so the very first equation uh, you can see the highest order involved here is 2 so the order of entire uh, differential equation is 2 as its exponent is 1 so the degree of that differential equation will be 1 but the problem is uh, why it is non-linear because we have that particular term you can see that there is a product of dependent variable y with sine y so that particular term is not allowed uh, in linear differential equation that is why this particular differential equation is non-linear differential equation in other ways you may uh, refer to that transcendental uh, uh, functions point uh, in the uh, last slides that uh, transcendental function uh, in case of dependent variable is not allowed in linear differential equations and we have that transcendental function uh, sine y uh, uh, using that dependent variable so it must be a non-linear differential equation so it is a non-linear differential equation so uh, this uh, is uh, our second example again the highest order derivative involved is 2 so the exponent will be called the degree of that differential equation so the degree is 1 so it is clear uh, till now but the problem is uh, that this particular term that involving cos x plus y y as a uh, uh, y variable is involved here that is over dependent variable and the involvement of dependent variable uh, is not allowed in case of transcendental function so that cos uh, is basically comes under that transcendental function so that is why it is called a non-linear differential equation now we have uh, this particular differential equation again the order of that differential equation is 2 its degree is 1 uh, till now so good but again the problem comes when you notice that there is a product of dependent variable and its derivative involved and as you know that the, for the equation to be linear there should be uh, no product of dependent variable with its derivative involved as uh, this particular de uh, differential equation is involving the product of dependent variable and its derivative so it will be not linear so called non-linear differential equation now we'll move towards the last example 
so this is again a non-linear differential equation uh, it is very clear because uh, the order uh, of that differential equation is 1 a degree is 1 it is fine but the problem is that particular term here you have a y square y square means that we have a product of dependent variable y with itself so the product of dependent variable with its derivative and with itself is not allowed in a linear differential equation so it must be a non-linear differential equation so it is again a non linear uh, differential equation so I think uh, uh, this is enough uh, and uh, you basically got the point uh, and the difference uh, that a linear and non-differential equation has uh, so this sums up uh, today's lesson uh, so thank you so much for being here